Right then guys, out for my sort of traditional-ish bed roll and have a sack camp. As you can see all I've brought with me is what I've got on which is my belt kit. I haven't got any sharps on the belt yet because uh, obviously I've just had to walk through some public land to get to the woods. Um, so yeah, didn't have any sharps on. I should get them on in a minute. Um, bed roll which I'll take you through as I set up. Um, come to come to the bit of woodlands where I was in my last little sort of wander around video where I found a camp sort of that way. So I'm gonna take a wander over there quick, hide the kit. Um, I'm just gonna go and see if that camp looks like if anyone's been there or not, see if I'm gonna get disturbed in the night. But um yeah, I shall bring you back and uh it's going to be a good one. Looking forward to it. Cheers, guys. See you soon. Just try and conceal my kit a little bit because I'm just going to take a quick wander over there. Um, can't see that anyone will disturb it, but I just want to kind of cover it up anyway. Um, so, yeah, just going to go and take a wander to this other camp quickly. See if it looks like anyone's been there. Um, there's a local homeless guy, so I don't know if it might be him. So, I shall bring you back. Cheers, guys.
guys. Um, just want to show you a little something that I've been working on. It's uh, my my belt kit. Um, never had a belt kit before, and um, thought I'd better sort of look into making one. And um, so yeah, this is kind of kind of my take on a on my sort of bushcraft belt kit. So I've got ammo pouch, which has got mainly um, camera equipment. So got my battery pack, cables, things like that. Um, not really bushcraft related, but it's on my belt anyway. A few little extra bits in there, things like a little snap light for later and things like that. Um, that bander, that is just a wa waxed cotton slip for it to go in. This side is a waxed cotton pouch which has just got sort of it's kind of like a um, like a possible's pouch so I've got like got my keys um, a head torch a little sewing kit um, my first aid kit and my little mini hygiene kits in there as well uh, and also a little stove which I'm gonna get going soon get a brew on I think and then also between the loops that hold that onto my belt, there's a space for my axe. And then last but not least, on the back, I've got my Mac Tightwad, well, Keith Zero Pence knife that I got from Mac Tightwad. And that's it, it's just on my hip there. Nice and easy to get to, with both hands as well. So, um, agenda for today, I'm good, well it's sort of getting on for four o'clock so I'm going to try and make myself a raised bed because obviously I'm only with bed roll so I want to try and get myself off the floor. Um, plenty of dead wood knocking around so it shouldn't be too hard to make a bit of a raised bed off the floor. Um, and yeah, get some grub on. I've got a sausage stew for dinner um, and also I've got a bannock mix with me as well just to uh just for something to do really so um so yeah i'm gonna crack on and try and find some wood to make a raised bed with and uh i'll bring you along and show you how it goes cheers guys
going guys. Just gonna get my dinner on the go. So for tonight's dinner, I've got the, I think it's the Swedish mess tin. And we're gonna have a bit of a sort of a sausage, sausages and sort of a mixture of potatoes and vegetables and mushrooms. So we're gonna have a bit of a sort of a mini stew. Thought I'd get this filmed before we run out of light completely. It's, uh, it's getting on a bit now. There's uh, not really going to be able to see much. Uh, carrots, mushrooms, tomatoes, sweet corn. I think that's it. Um, these sausages pre-cooked earlier at home, just to make just so I know that they're that they're cooked basically. And that is dinner on the go. Right then. Dinner's ready. Fire's still blaring, and uh, all I've added to this is just some um, just some gravy granules, just to thicken it up and give it a bit of a sauce. And I think you'll admit that looks pretty bloody good. Right guys, I hope you can see me. Um, yeah. Out for a night out. Solo in the woods. Last time I did this was probably... Probably the spring one, which was just literally over there. Not, not too far from here. Um, <clears throat> this is actually almost, not to the day, but to the month at least my <clears throat> year on YouTube so oh man that's good yeah year on YouTube looking sort of back on the last year and the videos I've done I feel at least that I've really come on and um, I'm enjoying it a lot more first couple of overnighters I did especially solos I was a bit kind of thinking, oh, you know, I'm, <laughs> am I cut out for this? And uh, I think I am. I really enjoy it. Um, I think it's going to be a hobby for life. I've certainly made some friends for life through um, through YouTube, which is something I didn't expect when I 
started my channel. Um, there's a group of guys, the MTFU guys, um, and Camp Shaky, but mainly MTFU. Yeah, I just wanted um, to have a little bit of a chat. The fire's dying down now. I'm going to let that cool down a little bit, get down to embers, and then I'm going to make my uh, my bannock for later on this evening. But for now, I'm going to head off and enjoy my dinner. Cheers, guys. Okay, so bannock, which is no real, I haven't got any real measurements, I've just kind of chucked it in. It's just flour, raisins, um, brown sugar, and a sachet of hot chocolate. And all it literally needs is the problem doing it this way is if you put too much water in, you're screwed, so do it a tiny little bit at a time. If it goes to mush, then uh, that's not good. But doing it in a bag is great because it saves your fingers. You just need to make sure you get it all. This is something I did on my very first camp was make bannock. It was because I'd watched a, um, I think it was Outdoor Life of Brian, oh, Outdoor Life of Brian video that I'd watched. And, uh, and the bannock he made looked really, really good. So uh, I kind of copied him and I thought, as this is my one year video, thought I would make it again. I think I put just the right amount of water in there. You are always going to have to get your hands at least a little, a little bit messy when making this, but um, doing it in the bag just while it's in the sort of wet, gooey stage is uh, good idea because it really does save your fingers from getting too messy. When it's in this stage, you can kind of pick it off, but when it's like just goo, it's not great. Bannock dough mixture. Got some water that I'll get that off my hands in a bit. Now, something I learnt the last time I made it, I made it in a pan last time and uh, it really stuck. So I'm going to oil this tin foil. Thin. Don't quite cover it, just sort of make a little parcel for it. And then kind of right by the front there, and it'll just be turned on a regular basis. Because it can burn very easily.
guys. The bannock is ready. And as you can see, it's uh, a little bit soft inside still, but that's um, that's how it should look. As, it, as I said earlier, it can burn very, very easily because it's got quite a high sugar content. So yeah, it just caught there, but um, I'm going to give this a try and we'll... see how it is. hope you can see me. Good. I think the um, hot chocolate to flour ratio is a bit wrong. Can't really taste any chocolate in there. But um, still good, still tastes just like normal bannock. Happy with that. You've come for the warmth of my fire, haven't you? Yeah. You can stay. We don't know. Sort of, um, last time I checked, it was about half past ten. So uh, I'm gonna hit the hay soon. Got my put my thermal top on because um, temperature's dropping a little bit. It's not gonna be cold tonight. I think we're due about eight degrees or something. So it should be fine. Um, loosen my boots off. Just um, get a bit tired to be honest with you. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the hay soon. Um, I probably won't film in the morning because I have uh, work tomorrow, so um, I'm going to probably just get up, square the fire away, roll the bedroll up and, um, and get home. So, um, so yeah, thanks for, um, thanks for watching another video. Um, thanks for all the support over the last year on YouTube and um, here's to another year. Another, another good year. Um, I'm out again in two weeks, going down to Woodside for Sparky Steve's birthday. So um, it's gonna be a great bash. That has loads of guys going, lots of uh, lots of lots of YouTubers. So um, so yeah. Once again, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll leave it at that. I'm gonna hit the hay. Night, guys. Thank you.